Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how to highlight specific data points in your charts, specifically your bar charts using spreadsheets. And on the right, we have our bar chart where we show the monthly traffic by sessions and the percent change month over month. So here you can see we have the x-axis where it shows us there's no change, that's the baseline, but in April there's a highlight for a decrease in traffic, while the other months are in green showing an increase in traffic, a percent change greater than zero month over month. In these charts, you can see that there aren't a lot of distracting elements and you can easily see the differences in the percentage change month over month. So we're going to download some sample data from Google Analytics and use that as our example. Here in Google Analytics, the universal analytics version, we have this custom report with month of the year as the dimension and sessions for the metric. Let's actually order the data by month of the year in ascending order so that we have January at the top. And when we export it, when we download it, it'll download the data the same way. So let's export it to Google Sheets. Import the data. Rename this spreadsheet. We'll just call it Google Merchandise Store GA Session Data Monthly. And we'll rename this header from month of year to month and then in parentheses 2022. So Anyone looking at the data or looking at the charts that we create will know that it's for 2022. And then let's rename these months to the three letter abbreviation so that it's easy to read in the charts. We'll select all these months and then click on the one, two, three drop down menu click on custom day and time we'll scroll down and let's click on this right here with the month and the year and then we'll just remove the year so that we have the three letter abbreviation now the spreadsheet knows that the data here is in months we'll add a third column to this data table and we'll type percent change but we are going to look for a delta symbol so we'll just google delta symbol and then copy this go back to our spreadsheet and type in percent and then paste the delta symbol so there's our delta symbol We'll right align that and then we'll insert our calculation. So we'll go to February because that's when the first change is. Open parentheses, new value minus old value, close parentheses divided by old value. And continue the suggested autofill except for the last one we'll get rid of that one because this last row is just a grand total select all the values in the percent change and format as percent and we'll just do one decimal place one significant digit so now select the data and click insert from the top menu select chart and by default it gives us this line chart 
So we'll go over to the chart editor, click on the line chart drop down menu, and Google Sheets calls this a column chart. Let's move this over so we can see the data. So this is the range we want, x axis, list the month, go down to the series section, and we'll actually remove the sessions. So now we see our change month over month. But let's change the title to monthly traffic parentheses sessions percent change and we can get rid of our grid lines to simplify things go to our customize section and under grid lines and ticks uncheck major grid lines So now we have a cleaner chart, but for our series, let's include the data labels. So check that off. And we'll change the position to outside end. So now we can actually get rid of the Y axis. Let's select the Y axis and in the configuration section, change the text color from auto to white. We don't need that anymore because we have the data labels here. And now what we're going to do is create another column for our negative values so we can highlight those or change the color to red. So in column D, we'll give this the same header as column C copy and paste and then we'll just move the negative values into column D. So the columns or the cells in column C with negative values will actually be left blank. So cut and paste those negative values and then go back and click on the chart And we can double click one of the elements to bring up the configuration section on the right here. Now for us to include the negative values, click on setup. And for the data range, we'll change C to D to include column D. And let's actually add another series. So that'll be the second percent change there. And now we can see the negative values in red. And since they're the same, they're actually the same values. That is, they're both percent change. We can actually get rid of the legend and then click on the negative values, one of the negative values, go to series and click data labels. Let's actually put 2022 at the beginning of the title so we can remove our X axis label. And for the X axis, we'll select it Click bold and increase the font size to 16. Now for the grid lines and ticks section, let's select vertical axis and we'll actually turn on major grid lines. But for the grid line color, we're going to choose white so that it removes the other grid lines but gives us this zero baseline so we can tell where the changes are positive and where they are negative aside from the bars. 
Let's click on the positive bars. And for the fill color, let's choose this green down here. So now we can see our months with positive, with increases in sessions in green and the decreases month over month in red. So this is a nice visualization that shows you the trends for percent change month over month. So if you found this useful, please like, comment, subscribe, follow, and we'll see you in the next episode.